So now in this video, I'm going to talk about a data sheet and a website pin layout. So the one I really like looks like this. So I'm not going to cover this one too much, but this shows you when you're looking at the flat side here. I have the flat side towards the camera right now. The pin on the left is one, middle is two, and the one on the right is three. That's uh, fairly standard. But uh, pins have names based on what type of transistor it is. So this is a MOSFET transistor, a 2N7000. I'm hoping to use this in a future video. So I was looking it up and uh, the uh, pin layouts were what inspired me to do this video. Uh, one of the annoying ones that I'll cover later. So uh, in any case, it's pretty straightforward. Just looking at this, you can see on the left, you can either think of this as pin 1 or the source. The data sheet may say 1, 2, 3, or it may say SGD for this particular transistor. And if it says 1, 2, 3, somewhere there should be 1, 2, 3 here to tell you what the name of the pin is based on the number. So this one's pretty easy, and uh, I'm not going to cover this one anymore. It's pretty straightforward. Now above this, sometimes the data sheet will have this image above it, or you may only have this image. It may be above this image or it may be by itself I should say and so all this is saying is point the legs towards you the pins towards you and then have the flat edge on top and then one will be on the left two will be in the middle and three will be on the right so it's not terribly bad especially if uh, it's on here but having the legs pointing towards you isn't how you naturally insert the transistor into circuits so I think that makes it more confusing and to make it even more confusing, I ran across this today. So, this is telling you, put the flat edge to the left, and then turn the legs towards you, the pins. So that really throws me off when it does that. So, now, we got pin 1 on the bottom, pin 2 in the middle, and pin 3 on top. So this is correct. So, pin 1 is here. If we turn the flat edge towards you, now it's on the left, which it is here. But, as I said, it's not really natural to have pins pointing towards you. I think of it more as uh, pins facing away. But uh, now what I just did, I put pin 1 on top, but on the diagram it's 3. That's because the legs are pointing away. The diagram's made for legs pointing at you. So, I find this one confusing. Hopefully you don't, but... Uh, uh, if it was something confusing for you, hopefully that helped clear it up. This is with the pins pointing towards you and the flat edge pointing to the left. Then it makes more sense if you can think of it that way. So now I just want to mention, this is a particular uh, transistor, not a common hobby one. And so other transistors have different pin names and uh, different layouts too. And so make sure whenever you're dealing with a new type of transistor that you don't already know the pin layouts based on its uh, part name and everything that you look up the data sheet and find that out and now something I almost forgot to mention uh, right now I have the transistor with the flat edge facing us I just went over how that works now I'm going to turn the transistor so it's facing away from us now a lot of people draw their diagram like that with the transistor facing away. So now that we flipped the transistor around, now the pins aren't one, two, three anymore. Now they're three, two, one. And instead of the source gate drain, now we have the drain, the gate, and the source with this transistor because I turned it around. Of course, if I flip it with the flat edge facing us, it goes back to uh, the normal one, the diagram I like. But that's something you gotta be aware of. Sometimes they draw the transistor so that the round side is facing you. And then if you're used to looking at it with the flat side facing you, if you're not paying attention that the diagram is flipped around, then you're going to have your pins wrong. So that's something you got to be aware of, the direction that the transistor is facing in the diagram.